We covered some of the recumbent positions. Now we're going to uh, recover some of the upright positions. So upright is when your patient is erect. So your patient can be upright sitting in a chair or they're upright when they're standing. So I'm gonna bring my patient right over here and I'm actually gonna do a right, a left lateral. So remember, a lateral is named after the part that it's touching the image receptor. So because I have our left side against the image receptor, this is a left lateral. So I'm gonna have my patient turn all the way around the opposite way to her, her right side, and this is a right lateral. So it's named a right lateral because her right side is touching the image receptor. Now we're gonna cover an oblique. So we have four different obliques that we can do. So we name our obliques according to the side that is touching the image receptor. So if I want to do a right anterior oblique, I'm gonna turn my patient towards the image receptor. Have her bring her arm down. So it's an oblique because the mid coronal plane is not parallel to the image receptor and the mid sagittal plane is not perpendicular to the image receptor. So here's my oblique position and it's a right anterior oblique because our right anterior side of her body is touching the image receptor. Now if I want to do a left anterior oblique, she's gonna turn face me a bit her left anterior side is touching the image receptor. Now, if I want to do a left posterior oblique, I'm gonna have her turn, and I'm gonna put the posterior left side against the image receptor. So I'm gonna have her turn, and that is a left posterior oblique. And then a right posterior oblique, she's gonna turn towards her right, place the right posterior part of her body against the image receptor.